Good morning. This is Sherwood Tucker with American Ag Marketing and Trading Company from downtown Chicago on Monday, October the 28th with this morning's market commentary. And getting you out to the markets here to see what's going on. Uh, currently have December corn futures down 7 cents at 4.33 even, breaking through support there with the Mar March contract down 6.5 at 4.45.5. Uh, December beans 12.80.5 down 19.5 with the January at 12.75 and a half down 18 cents so far. December wheat at 6.85 and three quarters down five cents with the March at 6.96 and a quarter down five and a half. December KC wheat down four cents at 7.55 with the March at 7.55 as well down four cents too. Uh, December meal at 4.14.20, 4.14.10 down 9.40. Uh, and the December oil uh, up to uh, three at 40.76. We have November feeders at uh, 167.05, with the December fats hitting another record at 133.60, up 62 and a half. December Dow Jones futures um, down two at 15,495, and December gold uh, up two dollars, 1354.40, with the dollar index uh, up a little bit today, 79.37. December bonds uh, flat on the day at 135.11. December cotton at 78.90, uh, continuing its slide here down 18, with March cocoa down 23, 26.95, and December crude slightly higher at uh, 98.10 after uh, rebounding off its lows last week. March sugar down 10 at 18.93. A uh, couple tidbits of news in the corn market is that it uh, broke through some pretty strong support. We're currently trading at 438. I'm sorry, 4.33, and uh, the major support comes in at 4.32. If we take that out, that would be a new contract low. Uh, harvest is being projected uh, on tonight's report at 55 to 60 percent complete as uh, farmers are, are scurrying to get, get their harvest uh, going here with rains, uh, more rains coming in. And uh, farmer selling has picked up over the last few days due to the huge yields that are re being reported everywhere. And several elevators even closed over the weekend because they're full, uh, although basis does remain firm in the Western Corn Belt. Uh, the wheat, in the wheat market, there's great crop conditions and planting progress being reported. And Argentina will likely keep uh, the U.S. export basis firm for much of the year. But expect the wheat futures complex to remain weak due to the uh, Australian harvest pressures. There is a two-day Fed meeting starting tomorrow. It uh, ends on Wednesday, so expect pretty much all the markets to remain quiet, waiting uh, the news on that report, low volume, low volatility. Um, they should keep their policies in place with their quantitative easing. I, I don't see any surprises there, uh, although make sure you take a look at the Fed minutes when they're released as there's uh, usually some different verbiage that's, that's used that uh, could, could surprise the trade a little bit. Well, that's it for this morning's report. We'll be back to you later on this afternoon. Hope you had a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks.